Question for you, do cell phones, or specifically 5G, newer generation cell phones, have the potential to cause cancer? So, you know, we're holding this little device up to our brain, which is shooting energy in all directions. And so the question is, is it dangerous? That's what we're going to talk about today. So the idea behind this makes sense. I mean, the electromagnetic wave coming out of all these devices consists of an electric field oscillating and a magnetic field oscillating, and they propagate and carry energy uh, with it through the propagation. So if they go into your brain, it stands to reason, could it heat up your brain like a microwave or otherwise cause cancer-causing mutations in your DNA? The answer is no, and I want to explain exactly why the answer is a hard no right now. So this is the electromagnetic spectrum. It's important for you to know that everything, like uh, radio waves, microwaves, anything coming out of a cell phone, along with visible light here in the rainbow area, are all the same phenomena with just different frequencies. So you can see we have lower frequencies here in the radio and the microwave, mid-range frequencies uh, in the visible light here, and then we have higher frequencies that get smaller and smaller and smaller in wavelength. Those would be the, you know, the X-rays, the ultraviolets, and the gamma rays that come out out from space. Higher energy as you get to shorter and shorter and shorter wavelengths. Now, in order to cause cancer, you need to break or disrupt the bonds in the DNA of your cells. And we know exactly how much energy that requires because we know something about chemistry and chemical bonds. It turns out that you need about 10 electron volts of energy to disrupt a typical DNA bond in the DNA molecule. An electron volt is just a unit of energy. Now it turns out that about 10 electron volts is the threshold to start to do damage. Now if you look here, visible, and then we have ultraviolet up here. The ultraviolet, the, the right at the tail end of that ultraviolet is just barely enough to start to damage the DNA. And that's why ultraviolet requires us to wear sunblock or you could eventually get skin cancer because it can actually barely, barely have enough energy to disrupt some of the bonds in the DNA. But all of the frequencies below here are too low. The energy of each photon is related to the wavelength and these photon energies down below the ultraviolet they're way below the 10 electron volt threshold to do any damage to DNA and so that means that the radiation coming from your cell phone is called non-ionizing radiation whereas anything above that is called ionizing radiation now just to give you a feel for this the 10 electron volt threshold is to do damage that's roughly what UV photon is the photons coming from your cell phone at their maximum is 0 0.0001 of an EV, so it cannot cause cancer. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.